So find all the solutions. All right, again, set the equal to zero, find the zeros, find the solutions, find the roots, any of that stuff. I see an X to the fourth. So first of all, I know I'm gonna need four solutions. All right, so I gotta think about that as I'm going through. I need to factor this. Now we did factor some of these. I should get, uh, hang on, no, I don't think I got this the right way. All right, so it's got three terms, which means I'm gonna do one of the normal factoring things. This means the signs are gonna be the same. Sorry, and I'm looking for factors of nine. So I've got one and nine, or three and three. This is to add up to 10. So if the signs are the same, one plus nine is 10. So I have x squared minus one, and x squared minus plus, hang on, x squared plus one, and hold on, rewind here. It's the first day after break, depending on when you're watching this, it's the first day after break that I'm doing this. It needs to add up to negative 10, which means these both need to be negative to give me negative 10. I knew that it needed to be minus, but then I realized that I wasn't, it actually wasn't minus with what I was doing. So it should be x squared minus one, x squared, minus nine. That's factored correctly. Each one of these is a difference of two perfect squares. So this is going to be x plus one, x minus one. That one's going to be x plus three, x minus three. All right. And hopefully at this point, we've talked about this a whole bunch. Uh, we should be able to factor uh, simple things that look like that. All right. So these are equal to zero. Now I have four sets of parentheses. One, two, three, four, which means I'm gonna get four answers, which is what I wanted, all right? And maybe with this, you can just use your shortcut, but I'll do this, x plus one equals zero, x minus one equals zero, x plus three equals zero, and x minus three equals zero. That's gonna give me negative one, that's gonna give me one, that's gonna give me negative three, that's gonna give me three, so negative three, negative one, one, and three. There it's written as a set. Those are my solutions, all right? So again, it's just, Really all this is is can you factor and then can you solve very, very simple equations?